so so uh, uh, Tony Tatiana, tell me a little bit about this concept that's coming up here. Ladies first. Alrighty. So, um, a couple months ago, when quarantine really first kicked off, uh, basically I came up with a, I put out like a random thing saying, "Hey, who wants to play D and D?" And a lot of people got interested, and it kicked off. Basically, a, a it kicked off a long now long-standing tradition, well, weekly tradition of wrestlers wasting time every Saturday night while we have no shows going on. And it was very consistent, it kept going, it was what got us all through quarantine for a while. And with that being said, an idea an idea was brought up to stream one of those D&D sessions. And D&D, of course, is Dungeons and Dragons, the timeless nerdy game of fantasy and awesomeness. And so, with a little bit of planning, a little bit of creating, and a whole lot of videoing failures, <laughs> None of what you will see. We put together the upcoming session. There you go. Which will be which will be this Friday, not this Saturday, as I made the mistake on the, my promo. That's okay. We fixed it in editing. <laughs> That's what post is for. Yep. No, um, and so the the people involved right now are me, Tatiana, uh, uh, Brohemoth, uh, Justin Idol, and our DM is the Bearcat Keith Holt. And uh, that is super exciting. Uh, we're all starting level ones, so we're all creating brand new characters um, and building from scratch for this. Uh, I know we're all. I, I know I'm hoping this kicks off. I, I thought, I independent to to Tatiana and and Keith, I I was kind of like thinking like how would I pitch this idea to Sorg because I'm a huge D and D fan and and I'm a huge let's see what we can do with media fan. And uh, they were doing it while I was thinking about how to pitch. And I was like, Oh, I'm going to jump on this. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm super excited to do this. I'm super excited for Friday. And I want you all to tune in because we, as, as wrestlers and as commentators, non-wrestling personalities, we get to uh, tell stories um in a medium of professional wrestling. And we have not been able to do that as consistently as we would like. Now we're going to take our passions for wrestling and move those passions to the tabletop gaming. And uh, we want you guys to come with us because, you know, there's there's some things that we're cooking that uh, I think you guys would all enjoy the watch. So a, a little bit as leaking out, the, the first promo came out today, and Tatiana's and, and Justin Idols will be coming out in the next 24 hours as well. But uh, there, there, there's been these um, um, kind of promos going on to kind of introduce your characters that are that are going to be coming up in the D&D session. Uh, I say, Tony, your, yours came up today, of course, so with you as, as the bard. Uh, Gideon. Gideon. Gideon the bard. Uh, Gideon Fladro. Mm -hmm. Get his last name right. It's mm -hmm. important. Is this where I cover the screen and I become him? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm showing it right now. Everybody's seeing <laughs> okay. it right now. Oh, oh, <laughs> Big bro, guitar and everything. <laughs> I need some time travel magic in order to go along with that trend. So, <laughs> so uh, no, it's it's exciting. Are you going to show the promo or no? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just showing it over you. That's fine. Okay, cool. So, is it like uh, a wrestling themed D and D game? Because I I'm I'm a I'm a virgin when it comes to D and D. Like I know. A little bit about it but not i've never done it before no i don't think it's going to be wrestling themed uh mm -hmm. although um being a fan of the adventure zone i know that there are there are ways that we could do that okay in the mm -hmm. future. i used to i used to do like e-fetting which i know is vastly different from D, &D but it's kind of similar because oh. there's like storytelling and like like a show booker which would be like a dm at that point but <laughs> It's, uh, I think it's just going to be like a, a good old, just a little quick adventure for good old pals going to go beat up some monsters. Mm -hmm. Gideon's going to sing some songs. My character, Hexalian, he's going to try his best. He's going, God, he's going to try his best. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one I, I'm going to, I'm going to try to keep a very, very little, uh, public about Hexalien for now, but I will tell you guys he is dumb as a bag of rocks. 
good. And we're, sh- and we're showing the the we're, we're sneak previewing the visuals from your uh, promo about them uh, right now, so <laughs> <laughs> so people can get a little bit of a visual idea on this uh, if you're joining us on video. <laughs> I just saw you fall. Oh, okay. So he's the ninth doctor. I got it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm literally just watching the visual and not hearing any of the. <laughs> but it it's looks fine. Like you... It's fine. It's fine because the ninth doctor got to date Billy Piper, so it's fine. I can deal no. with it. No, just he didn't. Shows, everyone he lived. Did not. He, he did almost. Not. He, he got almost. Got did. David Tennant got the right. Everyone. All right. The ninth doctor also got to kiss Jack. Cat, Jack and so Jack Hartness. Like come on. right. So that's a point in his favor. But yeah. Let's just wear everything out here. He kissed them both, okay? Mm-hmm. So, so really, I'm, not seeing, I'm not seeing a problem here. Yeah, no, no, no yeah. issue at all. No, yeah, you're right. Um, no but yes, oh. I, I meant it as a compliment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I meant it as a straight-up compliment as someone who legit just finished watching the Eccleston season of Doctor Who. Again. So vast. So vast. Well, now that underrated. you said that, like... But now that you've said that, now I'm, like, thinking back to the outfit I put on to become Hex Alien. It's like, oh. Oh, wow, it does. It does. It's it right does. there. It's, it's right there. Crazy. Yeah, it was right. Like, I, I forgot what we were talking about for a split second. I just saw someone pop up into the frame into a dark black leather jacket. I'm like, oh, hello, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> how do you how do you bounce back from that? Uh, we're we're no, we're super excited. We're super excited to to try this out. We're super excited to have you guys come along for the ride and uh Hopefully this becomes a thing a la some of the other uh, tabletop uh, media projects out there. Yep. Um, only with your favorite independent wrestlers and personalities. And yeah, well, while, while we're at it, I'll queue it up. I'll give you a preview of Justin Idols as well. It's kind of interesting if you guys are familiar with One Cool Cat. Uh, he's He's been on the show several. Actually, our first interview was with him and his uh, partner. Justin Idol was... doing something interesting. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> So, um, and also, if you're unfamiliar, and in and, and you too, uh, Mike, uh, we also have on our network um, another D and D podcast, uh, Bark Mystery Tour. The kind of well, the same, you know, kind of the same idea. If you you want to kind of follow along with a D and D kind of thing, and they they actually write songs and produce songs along with the show to go along with it. So it's a it's kind of a fun concept too. So um, and there there's a little bit of Justin Idol in his suave getup. He looks like he's straight out of like. Hercules the TV show uh, is my first thought. <laughs> so oh, that's awesome. That I'm way, I'm way, that's awesome. No, uh, the, I think of all the people, that's phenomenal. That is so good. I think of I think of all the people we we could have pulled out. We pulled we pulled um, four very distinct personalities mm-hmm. in wrestling mm-hmm. that all are united by the fact that we're all humongous nerds that working professional wrestling <laughs> so and then bearcat which is who is a phenomenally wonderful person and and i have not this is actually my first time i'm going to be able to work with him uh and it's going to be him trying to kill me which is super exciting fantastic and it's it, it, it's you know thank okay you. go ahead i will say one thing since i have worked with keith as a dm before keith does not actively try to seek out to kill his players I do though. <laughs> <laughs> Great, friendly fire. It's nice. It's nice to know all of her cone attacks are going to be right in my face. <laughs> Just as well, everybody dies. <laughs> all, all her cone, all her spherical radius attacks are going. I'm going to have to th- roll wisdom throws. <laughs> okay, okay. I I will say one thing. That's me as a DM. That's how I am as okay. a DM. Hexalien, mm-hmm. he's got a bit of a heart of gold. He's trying, okay? He's just, <laughs> he's stupid. Wow. So, you know, you might still get a spell thrown your G- way. But... G- Gideon is very weak, uh, very passive, and is on the run from uh, a noble who uh, wants his head. So he's hanging out with you guys because you guys are all big, and he is uh, very much shorter. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Gideon's in for a really bad time. 
And I originally was going to make him a gnome, and I decided no. <laughs> so but you, uh, you can see, you see, when 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 people can't get into wrestling uh, these days on a regular basis to get your creativity out, this is where we are redirecting <laughs> things. So I can see that. So looking forward to that. If anyone, if anyone throws your character a sock, are they automatically free from any kind of traps? Well, I'm not. I'm not. A, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not an elf. I'm a human. I. I'm not. Who's squeaking? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tatiana was just squeaking there. Yeah, I, I, I was very pleased with that. Did you, like, wanna... oh, good. you guys just gave did, me did... an idea for I'm going to make a thing now. Like, I'm going to try to create an object. <laughs> well, I will I will close this by showing off the my instrument, which is I could not get a liar in time, so instead I got a troll world tour <laughs> ukulele. I love it. With uh, yeah. classic strings. And I, I don't know if you can hear this or not, but it is woefully yep. unable to play good music. Oh, yeah, we can hear it. Oh, yeah. And uh, on brand with the Trolls movies. <laughs> but this is this is my liar for until I get a real liar. Um, and a little known fact is I can actually, uh, my first instrument was guitar. And uh, I've always wanted to learn the ukulele, but I ain't gonna learn it on this thing. So, <laughs> uh, so may as well use it as a tool. So, table uh, top rope tabletop is gonna be 7 p.m. Eastern time this Friday, July 17th is gonna be the first uh, iteration of this. It'll be live on the IndieWrestling.us Facebook, uh, Twitch. Uh, and and uh, 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 probably Periscope and all that kind of stuff too. So you can drop in on that. Um, so really looking forward to that. I think it's a good crew. And like I say, and stay tuned on.